Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be testing these to the max. These are the Taclite 3 pack. You can get them for like around 20 bucks. I actually got them on sale for $15, so I thought that I'd try them. They claim to be four times brighter than actual flashlight. It's Bell and Howell brand. Um, you've got five modes. This video is filmed in 4K, so I give you the opportunity to watch it in a higher resolution here since I'm filming with my other camera. As you can see, shock and waterproof resistant. Um, I went ahead and grabbed one out of this package. The rest, um, the other two are, you know, in my drawer in my room. Um, because I'm going to use those, you know, later on when this one goes out. But I just thought that I'd test it. I'm going to run it over with my four-wheeler. We're going to do, like, some, um, some tests, like, where I put it in water, um, where I freeze it with a block of ice. So we're going to go ahead and perform the first test here. Got my four-wheeler over here. And before we do anything to this light, I'm going to kind of show you guys some of the modes. So this, um... And I picked this light specifically just because it has a little bit of a button issue. Um, like where you got to press the button a certain way in order for it to turn on. Um, the other two work just fine. I don't know if it was just um, this one. But a lot of the time when I buy multi-pack things, um, one of the multi-pack things um, ends up, you know, malfunctioning or not working properly. Or properly. So this is a high mode. I'm using um, Harbor Freight's Thunderbolt Magnum battery. So it's not going to be probably quite as bright like as energizer or duracells but it's gonna be pretty bright so this is this is i would call this maybe i would maybe say this is around 500 ish lumens maybe around 400 to 500 lumens on the highest setting switch down to medium this is around 200 to 300 um switch down to low this is going to be around 100 lumens to 200 lumens i'm going to say it's around 100 lumens because it's still pretty bright, but not extremely bright. And then you got your, whoop. Then you got your strobe, that's on high. And then you got your SOS. The only thing I don't like is that you gotta toggle through all the buttons in order to turn the flashlight off. You see, um, that's first click, whoop. First click, second, third, fourth, fifth. So now I'm gonna go ahead and run it over with my four wheeler. We're going to see if it'll hold up to the test. Like I said, I, I got these on sale for $15. So I'm going to sit it right here on the concrete and we're going to run it over with the four-wheeler. Alright, so let's look at any of the damage it may have done. It's not flickering or anything, so it's still looking pretty good. Oh yeah, zoom function on it, still still smooth just like butter. Just like how it came. Let me see here. Sometimes this button is a little weird on here. You guys can probably see what I'm talking about. So that's high. Come on, button. So as you guys can see, all the modes still work. High, medium, low, strobe, SOS. So that did absolutely nothing to this flashlight. Um, that's pretty cool. We're gonna see like if it maybe, 
like um, flattened it a little bit or did any weird stuff like that. All right, so we can tell right here where it did the most impact. Um, it does not look to me like it squashed it or anything. It just looks a little banged up. No, nothing to prevent it from working. Be honest, that might just be a little bit of um, like of the concrete powder that may, may have gotten onto it. But um, yeah, I think it is maybe a little bit because this is rubbing off some. Yeah, but no, no crack in the lens. Holding up great. I'm gonna go ahead and take a close look at it. See if there was any, no, extreme damage done. Yeah, there was no damage done at all of this flashlight, except for just a few little scrape marks where it was rolling around on the cement. But as you guys can see, it turned on. It works well. Still smooth as butter, and we're gonna start with our next test um, here in just a second after I finish this one but yeah that this thing is really cool for it to be a three pack of lights that you could find on sale for $15 and regular price is only like 22 bucks uh, so far these lights seem to be pretty good because I ran them over with the four-wheeler three times um, now I know that might not be like all that impressive because um, like the four-wheeler only weighs like a few hundred pounds but it's pretty good. I don't think you're going to be running it over with your car. I'm sure that it would probably hold up with your car as long as it's not like a super heavy truck or anything. It will probably do it on like a regular car. Um, but yeah, so we're still running strong on this light. Everything's still looking good. Um, but yeah, still up and running good. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a four-wheeler. We're going to go ahead and do the next test on it. Alright, next test. The waterproof test. I'm going to go ahead and close all doors. Just to kind of a little bit better. So this is the light right here at full. I'm getting it in. Alright. So it's going to be working just fine. I'm going to go ahead and make some noise. As you guys can see, the flashlight is underwater. Flickering in the light. Let's see. Sweet. The button even works. We're going to leave it under there for a couple of minutes. Put it on the low mode. I'm going to do it for about 30 seconds. Well, as you guys can see, that did absolutely nothing to this light. So we're going to go and do our next test. All right, guys, in this last test, I'm going to be freezing this flashlight in a cup of water. And I'll leave it in the freezer, you know, for like 30 minutes or until it freezes and do an ice cube. And we're going to see if it still works. So I'll update you when the thing has frozen. Alright guys, this is the next day and the flashlight is now frozen in this cup of water. Um, the button on it still works, but um, it probably got so cold it killed the batteries or there's just ice on the spring in there. So I'm going um, to melt all this ice and see if it still works. 
All right, guys. Time for the results. They're crazy. It still works. High, medium, low, strobe, SOS. Zoom feature on it. Still works. This flashlight is truly indestructible. I 100% recommend this light. The only thing I don't like about it is just that you have to change through the modes, but at least it's durable. I have ran it over with an ATV. I have submerged it in water. I have frozen it in a cup of ice. Um, yeah, this switch is a little bit faulty. So see, now it's not wanting to turn the light on. But, um... But yeah, so this flashlight is very impressive. Especially at the price point that it's at. Ah, it's not going to come back on with this cheap switch. But um, I do highly recommend this light. This is the Bell & Howe Tactical Flashlight. Um, usually they're about $22. Um, you, sometimes you can find coupons for them for like $15 to $18. So yeah. See you guys in the next video.